uh, make sure or you got to make me the host though. I know. Okay. okay. Hello, everybody. This is Elijah of the Planetary Guardians, and I'm here with Nova, uh, who is the head programmer behind the tool that I'm about to show you. What this is, is a breakthrough technology that is going to transform the way that you facilitate groups to get to an objective done within a chat room environment. And right now, Nova is going to show you how you're going to do that. Okay. So, hello. My name is Nova. I'm checking in feeling pretty good. Uh, some of you may know me from other videos, uh, or you may be part of my group. Hello, Michael. Uh, so, I'm just going to quickly share my screen and we'll give a quick walkthrough here of. Uh, what you should see for the first time. Um, you probably received an email with a link to planetaryguardians.net and a password. Um, so once you get to planetaryguardians.net, hit the login button, um, put in your email and your password, and then go ahead and log in. Um, damn. I'm just to edit this part. Uh, it's, I'm supposed to show them the other thing first because otherwise they'll be like, what happened? Uh, just just edit the small piece out. It'll be fine. Just hold on a second. Uh, so just hit the login button and you'll be directed first to this page um, where you'll just upload a profile picture just so people kind of know who you are. Uh, let's go with one that looks like your face if possible. Uh, so there you go. If you don't like it, you can change it again. Otherwise, click accept. Um, second thing, choose a username. Um, for, for this purpose, I'm just going to use my real name. I would suggest you do the same, but it's up to you. Um, once you like the username, uh, hit accept. And then just pick your time zone. And how this works is you just look on the left and pick the time that is actually your local time right now. Um, don't worry so much about the city. So right now I'm in Auckland and it is 11.44 a.m. on Monday for me. So I'll click that one. So once you click finish, you'll be directed uh, to this screen and every other time you log in, you'll just arrive here. Um, so you'll notice that you have, uh, you're the facilitator of, in this example, the sacred in reality team. Uh, your name, your group facilitator title is there. And uh, you'll see that the team already has 14 members. Um, that's because I've already actually added the members in this manage my team. I'll just go there quickly to show you um, what it will look like before you've added anyone. So just for the example, I've added Elijah to this, um, but you can just add a member here, you can put their name in, their email, uh, and then click add new member, and they will receive an email which will allow them to log in, uh, set up their profile picture, and then they'll be in here. Uh, until you do that, they will show up as inactive. Uh, but more to the point, uh, we're just gonna quickly show you how to set up your first mission. So if you click the manage missions button, You'll see on the right a short description of the actual platform that we've created. Um, and you'll notice that the first step is to set up mission one to start. Um, so if you click on set up the mission, you'll arrive at the screen, which will be you're actually setting up the first mission. Um, so depending on what you've heard already, there are seven steps to the overall um, chat stream technology here that we built. The first step is called the start. Each of them have different mechanics and a different framework. Um, for now, you just have to worry about the first one. Uh, and there's nothing to really set up as far as the mechanics go, but later there will be. So it's just kind of a description of how the first mission will work. Um, so once you've taken a look at that, you just create mission. And the first thing is to pick the objective. Um, I believe the objectives have already been set by Lysiel, so you can put in your team mission one objective, for example, and then click continue. Uh, here is the time limit. Uh, if you do not want a time limit, you want the chat room just to be open for as long as you wish until you decide that it could be the discussion is over. You can just leave it as all zeros and click continue. Otherwise, for example, if you want it to be open for one week, then you can put it at seven days, uh, or some teams may prefer to do one hour. Or, or less. And you can set the time limit here. Uh, if you don't set a time limit, it will be open forever until you close it. Otherwise, if you set a time limit, the system will automatically complete the mission uh, after the time limit. So let's just set it at seven days as an example. Click continue. Uh, now here, you'll see there's three different card types to pick from. Uh, I'll let Elijah speak a little bit about this. 
Okay, so in our uh, first training session, you saw that there was a kind of a spell, which this is, which has a value lens, a conversation type, and a conceptual lens. And for the first seven missions, these are going to be chosen for you based upon the context of the larger program that you're in. But I'll just give a little bit of a download because each one of these, you have the ability to either choose or random choose uh, the the value, the combo type, or the lens. And again, they, they create the container for what the chat room is going to be held within. And so would you like to sort of maybe uh, choose, show the choice screen? Sure. So for example, the conversation type, if I go to choose here, you notice there's, there's different kind of... Um, Those are the synergy lenses. These are all part right. of the synergy wheel and the conversation types are organized by those synergy lenses by having eight conversation types per uh, organizational function. Okay, so if I, for example, click stewardship, uh, you'll see there's eight lenses that come up and there's eight lenses for each of these. Uh, for yeah, example, are, advocating, are... blessing, context building, delegating, and some others. Uh, let's pick perhaps advocating and you'll notice that it replaces it uh, with the actual lens that you've selected. Um, you're able to go random if you want as well, but for the purposes of, of uh, Lucille, uh, you've probably already been given your cards as said. So you can pick again from the choice and from the choice here. Uh, it may take a moment to load some of these because there, there's quite a lot. Um, and here you have inner individual choice lenses, outer individual flow lenses, organization level or group level synergy lenses and community level harmony lenses. I think I'll pick one from the organizational lenses because we perhaps are looking through kind of a group lens at this and they'll start to load here. And we have quite a few, uh, let's pick perhaps planning. And the same thing for the value lenses. Uh, there are 144 value lenses here and uh, it may take a moment to load, um, but uh, there's quite a lot of them. So after you load this up the first time, um, these, these should load quite quickly. So for example, you can just trust that I say that and click the trust one. Uh, so after you've clicked your three cards, your three lenses, uh, your value lens, your conversation type and your conceptual lens, uh, you can click continue and move on. These will help focus the conversation and frame the mission within a context. So they're kind of, um, you'll, you'll, they'll be available to look at during the mission. And the idea is that these will frame kind of the overall discussion. So, and that's why they're important. So once you click continue, the last step is either manual start or schedule mission. Um, so if you want to manually start the mission whenever you choose, uh, click manual start, and this is the end of the process. Um, in, if instead you want to schedule the mission for the system to automatically start it at a certain date and time, uh, click schedule mission. And then you'll notice here that this timing is actually in your local time zone, whatever you, you've set it as. Um, during the, the first few screens there. Uh, I'm in Auckland again, so mine says Auckland. Um, but don't worry, we have taken care of the scheduling conflicts uh, and confusion with time zones already. So once you actually set this, for example, uh, Wednesday at noon, or even Monday at noon, uh, once you click accept, the mission itself will be scheduled at the particular time, like Wednesday at noon, Auckland time. But when the other people log in, your group members, they will see it at their local time. So they won't have to convert to time. Um, so yeah, once you've selected the date and time that you wish, if you've chosen to schedule your mission, click accept. And the system will automatically start that on time. So once you notice here, for now, it's just next mission is on Wednesday, September 8th at noon Pacific time. Uh, and again, that will show on their time zone, the date and time that is appropriate for them. Uh, and until then, you can wait uh, and it should start the mission on time. So 
I guess to go into the mission, they have to come into here at that specific time, and that's how they enter the, the chat. Yes. So uh, once the mission actually goes live, for example, on September the 8th at, at noon, Auckland time, uh, then on the bottom left, uh, it will show as an active mission. Uh, and then they can click on click here to join. And they will be actually into the chat room itself. Uh, and you'll notice again, this group as a test group only has two members, uh, myself and Elijah. And you'll notice Elijah's profile picture is currently grayed out. That's because he's not actually logged into the chat room. So all your team members will actually appear on the left and on the right here, um, but they won't actually be colored until they log in themselves. Pause, edit this out. <laughs> 